on the quest today in Driving Empire to find the best. It's opening, it's loading, hold up, licensed vehicles in Driving Empire. Now that there's a lot of options like TVR, Audi, Land Rover, uh, that I already named, Noble, McLaren, De, De Tom, I don't, I still don't know how to say it. Okay, yeah, you know what I mean. There's a lot of brands and I'm going to be finding the best licensed brands there is or the best licensed cars you can get in Driving Empire since, yeah, there's a lot of options. Our whole dealership is filled with them. So let's get straight into this video. All right, the first one on my list is the 1985 Didi Tommaso Pantera GT5. Um, I don't know how to say that. I probably butchered it, but this thing is actually pretty good for its price. For $190,000, which if you do the math is like three to four freaking cross country races, so it doesn't take that long to get this car. You got a top speed of 182. This is stock. Acceleration 39 and handling surprisingly 72. 72. I, I don't know how. I saw it yesterday and I was like, what? Handling 72 for 190,000 and braking 39. So if we buy this car right near to test, uh, right now to test it out. Um, I'll show you what this thing can do. All right, let's get out of the dealership right now and let's spawn our car. So the car we just bought was the 1998, 1985. Not gonna say it. Do it is, it's like actually always dark when I film. Joining a private server. All right, so y'all just seen that corny ass shit. All right, technical difficulties. I swear every server I'm in when I film is always pitch dark and never gets light out. So now I'm in my private server. Let's spawn the car again. So we spawn this car right here, which is the 1985, whatever, whatever. And let's just see the thing stock. So it actually has decent handling. I don't know why, but like it actually has good handling. And it sounds pretty good, and it's a decent looking car. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. It has a nice exhaust, and that's actually sick. I just noticed that on action, but let's upgrade this thing real quick and show you what it can do. Let's go to customization. <laughs> So let's shoot this thing on a race. Uh, this thing's pretty underrated for ninety thousand dollars. At least I think it is. Maybe it's just glitch. But let's do uh, what race should I do? Let's do a drawbridge real quick. Okay, so actually decent acceleration. I'm at like one fifty already for an old car like this, and it's only one hundred ninety thousand dollars. As I could tell, it has one of them Coontach uh, spoilers, which, you know, definitely doesn't actually serve any purpose for aero. But actually, yep, pretty good handling right there. Really good handling, actually. I, I was actually surprised right there. It had a, I was going a decent speed at that turn. Really good suspension. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this car. I've never had a driving in bar car have suspension. But let's see if I can make it around this turn. Oh my god. This thing has amazing handling. For hundred and ninety thousand dollars. Let's let's finish this race. Holy crap, this thing has good handling. 72%. I'm very surprised right now. This is actually a car you need to go get for hundred and ninety thousand dollars. I might actually low-key keep this thing, bro. I did, I beat my Senna time. I haven't done this race a lot, and I just beat my McLaren Senna time. Holy crap. And I think I got a goal. I, yeah, I met a goal. I met a goal, one of these things, and I got $50,000 because I was racing a bot right there. You need you need to buy this for cheap. $190,000, that is the first good car on my list. The next best licensed car to buy is either the 765 LT Coupe or the 765 LT Spider. But I'm going to show you the Coupe real quick. I'm going to purchase theirs purchase this because it has a lot of customization options that I will show you so let's get out here for McLaren and just all licensed cars in general this car has surprisingly a lot of options you could do for the customization so if we spawn it really quick right here okay watch this so I already have the spec on it but I'll just show you but if you got a paint okay we caught all three of these options that all McLarens have but they have a special thing so gradients I'm not a lot of McLarens uh, in the game have this, but you could get like, you know, one of these or one of those or that or like a fade, a metallic, which I got on my uh, spider because that just looks best. It literally looks so realistic. You got that too or this and this one is actually sick. Oh my God. And then exposed carbon, which I got to go to on, but I want to 
I'm just gonna do that so it's more easy to see. And then I got stock options on this one, and this one has the most stock options you could find of like any licensed car or just any McLaren in general. It's like the bonnets, which is just you could get a carbon hood, which is cool. And then they got spoilers, which you can make the spoiler carbon. Like as you can see, that's regular and that's carbon. And stuff like the roll cage. I already have one installed, but like there's nothing back there. And then there's a uh, roll cage right here you could put in the back to make it like look more like a race car. And the exhaust, they have like stock, which is this. And then titanium exhaust, which makes it have that cool kind of like burnt look, I guess. And oh, uh, kind of clicked out there. And then they got a rib scoop, which uh, not a lot of them have, not even the speed tail. So it's got like a roof scoop right here, as you can see. And that's like another option. And then the last option, because this thing has a lot of options, is the seat, which it literally can have any seat you want. So like the comfort seat. The P1 seats that you find in the P1, or this seat, the Senna seats, or the Senna other seats, which I like this one better than this one, so I got this one. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of stock options, which some, uh, licensed cars don't even have this option. And then, yeah, all the customizations you could do. So, this car for $460,000 can perform, trust me, I'm just telling you that this thing has a lot of options for customization. Like, you could, like, do anything you want to this car. Next car on my list is, the next car on my list is the SSC Ultimate Aero TT. It used to be the fastest car in Wafer, and it's still very fast for its price. So for the small price of $700,000, which trust me, doesn't actually take that long if you watch one of my, uh, the video where I talk about how to be the best driving Empire player, it doesn't take that long to make $700,000 in that method of that video. So you can get this pretty easily and re easily reach the 300 mile per hour barrier and go even way faster than that. So I'm going to purchase this real quick. Don't expect it to be a track car, just if you want speed, $700,000 can get you this. So let me get out of the, uh, the dealership by real quick. Oh my god. Okay, so we spawn the uh, 2009 SSC right here. This is a $700,000 car and it goes pretty fast. So hold up. Hold up. Let me customization it. That's not worried about touching it. Oh, oh, I'm not going to upgrade go. Okay, I'm just going to slow go. Okay, so just like I'm upgrading to the So watch this. Let me just like spin around real quick. If you go on the highway real quick, I literally did one upgrade or three upgrades to just the engine, the quad, turbo, and whatever. So, for $700,000, you can easily break the 300 mile per hour barrier as this goes 400 in right there. So, I put only three upgrades on it and I already go 300 miles per hour on boost. So, if you want a car that goes fast for cheap, your car right here, the SSC, ultimate whatever aero tt or whatever it's called yeah you could go 300 miles per hour so this is the third car on my list just because now i'm gonna give a special honor to two cars on this list so the first one is gonna be where is it the 2.8 million dollar pugani hybrid roadster if you want detail this is the car for you this is a very detailed car as you could see look at that carbon bro Look, that's like the most beautiful carbon in the game. It's like the most color, like bright you could find. And look at that detail. Let's explode this engine. Whoa, whoa, not like, not like that. But I can't uh, zoom anymore. But it's just you could see the engine. It's like very realistic, especially with the interior, everything. This car is just all around very realistic, and it's just a special mention right here. Now for a second mention, is where is it? The 2021 Pugani Hyra R, if you want the best sounding car in the game, this is the car for you, I swear. Now let's, let's start up this baby. Yo, I don't even have my headphones on, and I can hear that from, from the headphones. On my list is the 2016 Pugani Hyra BC, which this is just an all-around good car. Top speed, 238 miles per hour, stock, real quick. Acceleration, 57%, handling, 72%, and braking, 42%. And, of course, you got the gold wing doors, which, oh my god, no one can hate on that. So, it's just an all-around good car for $3.5 million, which, as of course, if you watched that video I shouted out previously, you can make that money decently fast. So, if you got to drive this, and I just spent a lot of money, so make sure to leave a like on the video and put notifications on. I'm not going to ask for, like, a sub. You can subscribe if you want, but if you are subbed, 
Please put notifications on because YouTube is not recommending my video. So let's do this car real quick. So this car is very good handling. It's just very good stock. I'm just going to show you stock real quick. So if we do a drawbridge race because that's just my favorite race right now. Oh my God, I love this race. I'm going to do this completely stock so I don't waste a bunch of money right now, guys, because I'm at $59 million and I know that's that's a lot of money, but I like to stay at a certain amount and I already... I already went under that, man. So, let's do this real quick. I'll show you how good of a car this is. Remember, I'm on stock, not upgraded. You can upgrade it as much as you want. But I'm just going to show you stock because it will still do pretty good. All right, this is the handling right here. Oh, okay, I don't have brakes. Maybe I should have put brakes on it. Uh, braking is like 49%. That's the only downside. Make sure to put brakes on it, guys. Make sure to put brakes on it. At a high speed of 175. I don't want to look. I'm about to crash. Alright guys, so if you want an all good uh, all around car right here for $3.5 million, this is a good option. Just put brakes, a good, decently brakes on it, and just remember that it doesn't have the best cover line customization all offers, but I like the stock spec to be honest, the white and the carbon fiber, and then the blue stripe, and the rims are decent, so this is a good car right here. Alright, so I did hit a wall, but the surprising thing is... This car right here, guys, still beat this time. So, if you want a Pagani, of course, get this car. This car is very, very nice. But, this car right here, holy crap. This car is so amazing. For $190,000, guys, this is the car of the video. You gotta buy this car. Holy crap, I love this car right here. Holy crap. Dude, oh my god, I'm keeping this thing for sure. But, guys, that is gonna be the end of the video. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed and hope this helps. And I'll do more research for another video if uh, this gets uh, a good amount of views. But yes, these are the best cars, best licensed cars in driving in part you can get as of this moment. These are like uh, more price range. So if you're like really rich, then I could do another video for you. But yeah, this... Oh, ain't it drift so nice? So yeah, this is the end of the video. See you in the next one.